My name is Edmund Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to bring to the attention of the principles of the party signal to the revitalized peace agreement and in particular the leadership of the unified command structure that we have seen recently some military activities among the parties that mounted to violation of the permanent ceasefire the incidents namely are the incident that happened in nasir that we have seen a confrontation in nasir town we have seen recently a confrontation in terekeka we have seen also a development of friction in a dog port in unity state and following other incidents in unity state it seems some failed commanders of the party Party seeking to deliver the last peace agreement are interested in making incidences that will return the country back to war. And one of the indications is that the violation of the permanent ceasefire is intentionally, and that is actually a call of other field commanders who seems to be interested to see war happening in this country. And it seems these field commanders are undermining the position of the principles of the parties signal to the revitalized peace agreement. So I'd like to take this opportunity to call upon the unified command structure, to call for an urgent unified command structure or the principles call for an urgent security meeting under JDB in order to ensure that some of these commanders that are triggering violation of the permanent ceasefire are held accountable or they move where they are because we are worried that the country is expecting looming elections incidents of violation of the permanent ceasefire are in increase or on rise this is posting a threat and is posting a fear and is affecting citizens trust and confidence on the conduct of a non-violent and a peaceful credible and free elections so please my appeal and my call as one of the stakeholders to the river Tires peace agreement that the unified command structure or jdb or the principles please hold an urgent meeting to discuss